Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Hope you're doing well, having a really great day. This video, I want to update you guys on the Canon Avalon Nano 3. I actually found a power supply that works on high mode on this Avalon Nano 3 now. Okay, I'm able to get 4.15 terahash and using about 127 watts. Okay, it's on high mode. And so I'm gonna explain here, this power adapter that I bought off Amazon and also a third party power cable from Anchor that is 3.1 PD capable. And yeah, I'm gonna explain a lot in this video. And for those that you know didn't buy the corresponding power supply with the Avalon Nano 3, I actually do have one and I wanna test it in today's video, but also mainly uh, for those that did not buy the official PSU, I believe I have an option for all of you guys, okay? So for those that didn't buy one official one, there's one here I wanna talk about, okay? This Deracam 140 watt uh, GAN charger. Okay, and also I want to talk about one thing regarding the Avalon Nano 3 in terms of the temperatures. There's a part in there that's about 94 degrees Celsius. I believe it's a MOSFET. I will do a thermal camera test uh, later on in this video. Okay, so before I begin, I want to announce a giveaway of an Avalon Nano 3 here that I got from CoastalCryptoMining.com. Okay, this is, I believe, a yellow version. I'm not gonna open it up. It's all wrapped still, so I'm not gonna open this, but it also does come with the official power supply here, but I do wanna test this on my Avalon Nano 3 just to, you know, try it, okay? Because there are some power requirements here, which is the same as the one I got off Amazon here. So to join the giveaway, very simple. All you have to do is comment down below your thoughts on the Canon Avalon Nano 3, as well as thank you, Coastal Crypto Mining. And if you are in USA or Canada, okay? Just mention that and I will choose the winner after about seven days. We're gonna leave it up for a little bit, so get your comments down below. Your thoughts of the Avalon Nano 3 and a thank you to Coastal Crypto Mining and if you're in USA or Canada. Good luck, I will pin the winner after seven days on this YouTube video. Okay, first things first is the aftermarket PSU here, okay, power adapter that I got off Amazon. It is called a Deracam 140 watt charger. There are many types of these types of adapters. They do claim they're like 140 watt or 240 watts or something, but specific ports only go up to like 100 or 60 or something. So I was just doing a lot of research into these little adapters and there are a few out there like this Deracam one that says right on here that it can do 140 watts. And so I've had this running for a couple hours now. It is definitely outputting a lot of heat. Uh, we'll talk about some thermal stuff here in a second, but just to show you guys 4.15 terahash, high mode 120 seven watts according to here. Okay, so let me read some of the specs regarding this on Amazon, the Deracam, uh, like basically it's a USB-C charger, but it has the PD, power delivery 3.1, uh, fast charging, okay? And the biggest thing here, uh, the difference between, you know, the ones that I was using, like these MacBook ones, these were only good for like medium mode or low mode on the Avalon Nano 3, right? About under 100 watts or uh, for the medium mode or uh, 60 watts for the low mode. But we are on high mode and that was not able to be done on these apparently 140 watt MacBook adapters. So I was just reading the output voltage on here, the specs, and this was only 20 volt at seven amps. But if I look at the stock power supply here, okay, this one does say 28 volt at five amps. Okay, and that's 140 watts. Okay, 28 volts on the stock Canon uh, power supply. Okay, uh, USB-C right on the other end. And so this Deracam one is capable 
of doing the same thing, okay? According to the specs on the back here, right? 28 volt, uh, 5 amps, so 140 watt max. Very similar to the Canon stock power supply. So that's why it is able to work. And according to their spec sheet, their details here, I'll just read real quick here. The Derecam PQ140 uses two third generation semiconductor materials, which is gallium nitride and silicon carbide. These materials have greatly improved thermal efficiency and heat dissipation uh, performance on the basis of the original. Also, the higher charging frequency and smaller size have reduced the heat dissipation requirements of the charger at the same time. Okay, apparently PQ140 140 volume is 25% smaller than the Apple 140 watt adapter. Okay, so yeah, the size of this adapter here is a little bit smaller than the MacBook one, as you guys uh, can see here. But, but, okay, now here's, here, we're going to do some thermal testing now. Okay, so this Derecam one is, right now it's at 74 Okay, 74 degrees Celsius at the hot point here. So about over 150, 160 Fahrenheit. Now, I know power supplies and power bricks. I've just been reading online, a lot of other experience from other people that power bricks can apparently run under 80 degrees or 85 degrees Celsius. Don't quote me on that, but this is quite hot for uh, a power adapter here in my opinion. So this is really hot to touch. And another disclaimer, you know, running these things 24 seven, you know, 365 at these temperatures, I, I don't know if this is going to last, okay? This is unproven, right? We haven't tested this for long periods of time. So am I recommending to go out and buy one of these, you know, to run an Avalon Nano 3? I don't know, okay? That's the risk that I'm just trying here. And over the past hour, uh, it's still able to mine at uh, high hash here, 4.15. Uh, terahash okay oops I just changed it to low mode and uh, let's press the button here by double clicking on it it changes the power mode okay so now I'm on medium high mode there we go okay so double clicking it really really changes the mode there okay now guys I wanted to showcase the thermals inside the Avalon Nano 3 okay so I have both of the sides off okay this here really helps with, I don't know, in my opinion, cooling it because these covers really do hinder the airflow, obviously. So I would, I would love to have this much cooler. But looking at the thermals of this thing, okay, so center of it right now, I'm looking at just the heat sink part of it. You know, the hottest temperature seems like to be 60 degrees Celsius in the middle there. But there is MOSFET or VRM. It's pretty much at the top uh, right here, okay, over here. And so that thing is showing almost 89, 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, 88 to 90 degrees Celsius on that MOSFET there. Okay, and I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys here, but it's, it's hot. So I'm thinking of adding a, like a 92 degrees Celsius now. I'm thinking of adding a, like a copper mod on top of it similar to what we did with the Ice River KS0 Pros, as those MOSFETs were getting pretty hot. Uh, but here we have a 91 to 92 degrees Celsius on that part right there. Okay, so yeah, that little black square right there between the red lights there, I don't know if you guys can see that, that black piece there is, I believe, a MOSFET. So that is quite hot. And I don't know if 90, <laughs> over 90 degrees Celsius on that thing is gonna do well long term. Uh, even though, again, I'm in my kitchen here, running this thing for long periods of time, I'm, I'm kind of worried about that little piece. So it does look like I would need to put a, huh, I can, I can de th there's definitely room there to put a piece of uh, some sort of copper heat sink on top of it. Okay, right there on top of it. So that'll be for another video. I will try it out. But just to give warning to you guys, you know, using my thermal camera, that thing was 90, over 90 degrees Celsius. So just a disclaimer there. Hopefully Canon watches this and maybe, you know, can rectify that. But that thing was pretty hot. Okay, so I want to try now the stock power supply. Okay, so now this thing was, looks like it's ramping back up. 3.8 terahash, high mode. Yep, seems to be just fine. Able to use it on this anchor. Uh, this is a USB-C, 140 watt capable, 3.1 capable, 
power cable. Again, I'll have it all linked down below, but really this is mainly towards people who didn't buy the uh, stock power supply because you can't really order this right now still from Canon. So let me try this. I'm gonna plug this in and I'm curious to see how hot this thing uh, will get, okay? So be right back. Let me switch it up. Okay, it's been running for about an hour. Okay, the stock Canon Avalon Nano PSU. And yes, of course, it is able to get the 140 watt mode, okay, or 126 watts, uh, 4.15 terahash on high mode here. So that's pretty good. Yeah, so that seems to work. But how hot is this PSU? Well, it is about 51, it says, 51 degrees Celsius. Uh, at the hot point. Okay, the hot point is pretty much at the end there. Okay, yeah, 51, 52 degrees Celsius. So th that was just from an hour runtime. It, obviously, it's going to be dependent on your environment. So the tolerance of this running 24 7, I'm not quite sure uh, how well it's going to do, but it is so far better than the uh, Dara Cam one. Okay, the Dara Cam one here like right off the bat and within that hour of running this thing was like 60 75 sorry 75 to 80 degrees celsius okay so pretty hot pretty hot for a power brick so just be mindful okay i don't know what the tolerance is of this Derecam charger but it did seem to run 140 watt fine but it seemed to run the uh, avalon nano 3 on high mode no problem okay so i'm gonna do a longer term test on this thing i will report back to you guys so maybe hold off don't buy it uh, let me run it for a week and we'll see how it goes maybe i'll put a fan on top of it just to you know dissipate the heat a bit more on this little power brick here okay guys that's it that's all i wanted to report in this video you guys let me know what you think but don't forget to comment down below for this Avalon Nano 3. This is the yellow version. Thank you to Coastal Crypto Mining for this lovely giveaway here. Hopefully you guys enjoy along with the official power brick as well. I will put that in there and ship it out to someone within seven days here. In the next seven days, I will choose the winner. So simply just comment down below your thoughts on the Canon Avalon Nano 3, or I guess what I talked about today here, and as well as thank you to Coastal Crypto Mining and also if you're in USA or Canada. Good luck guys. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out. Peace out.